some type of preconceived notion about a culture, a country, or a people, and that is completely normal. Um, Koreans will have a preconceived notion about you and your culture, and you will have a preconceived notion about Korean culture. Again, that's perfectly normal. Some of these are correct, and some of these are extremely wrong. Um, first off, I want to welcome you all to Korea. Um, Korea has thousands of years of history and culture that you will experience. Um, but with all the love you will give to this country, sometimes you will feel that this country will not love you in return. Um, welcome to Korea, if you forget where you are. Um, uh, obviously, we all love Korea. We wouldn't have come here and uprooted our entire lives to study here if we didn't. This is just to remind you that South Korea still has its issues, and you may face one or two of these. Some people will go by the entire semester and not have one single cultural problem or any case of discrimination, while some people will drag you through the entire semester. It's not like your home country is a shining beacon of perfection either. Every country has things that need to be worked on. Nobody really prepared me for these issues, uh, so it was a really big shock when I first experienced these. Um, and I'm not trying to scare you guys. It may seem a little scary, but um, it's just to make you aware. Uh, South Korea is still a highly conservative country. Despite being one of the most highly developed countries in the world, socially it is still very traditional. This segment is to help you understand that Korea is very different from the United States, the UK, China, or any other country. Experiencing racial prejudice as a white American was pretty traumatizing for me at first, considering I had never experienced it before. It is said that South Korea has the technology of 2050, but the mentality of 1950. Some examples of prejudice that you will make from may face in Korea is racism and xenophobia. This is a survey from the Seoul Institute, say, of 2,500 soldiers who, not soldiers, Sorry, foreigners who have experienced discrimination in Seoul. Um, 95% of foreigners have experienced some type of discrimination in South Korea. Um, of those types of discrimination, mainly all of them come from where you are from, your nationality or your place of origin. Some types of discrimination, um, appearance, if you are big, if you are small, if you are dark complexion, if you are light complexion, what color your hair is, education, income, and occupation. Uh, foreigners and people who are not ethnically Asian are a very new thing to Korea. The only contact Korean people had with non-Asian foreigners really pre-2000s was the United States military. 44% of South Koreans reported that they did not want a foreigner as their neighbor in 2014. Overt forms of racism are more likely to be experienced by South Asian people and African people, while Europeans and North Americans um, report overtly kind treatment by Koreans. Remember that South Korea is 99% Korean, and they do not have non-ethnically Korean people here. Um, are you legally protected against <coughs> racism and discrimination? No. As of January 2018, South Korea is still lacking any anti-discrimination laws. So basically, if you're discriminated against, there's kind of really nothing you can do about it. Um, on my very first day here, I was in Cheonam, maybe Keisha's with me, we were kicked out of a taxi. The taxi driver said, no foreigners, get out, even though I was talking to him in Korean. Taxis are the worst second by bars and clubs. You can be kicked out. Um, a lot of the staff doesn't want to communicate in English, so they'll, they'll have uh, ling linguistic prejudice against you. Um, the two forms of nationalities that get the most discrimination in Korea are Americans and Japanese people. Uh, even though South Koreans love Americans, um, that opinion is started to change as of January 20th, 2017. I wonder why. Um, I bumped into an anti-war protest accidentally in Guantanamo Square. And this lady ran up to me and shouted, Yankee, go home, get the F out of Korea. You're not welcome here. Take your soldiers and leave. And I'm like, I'm a university student. And she's like, okay, sorry, have a nice day. <laughs> as if that's gonna like fix it. Um, although Korean society is largely uh, although thoughts in Korean society is largely attributed to the Japanese rule of Korea, still many older people hate Japanese people, um, and this may cause generational trauma to younger Koreans. Um, another type of discrimination you may face is homophobia. Unlike uh, like any country, perceptions of queer people in Korea differ widely. Generally, the younger generation is somewhat inclusive towards LGBT people, while the older generations outright Views that gay people even exist. Some older Koreans call it the Western disease. Same sex marriage is illegal in Korea, and Korea does have a vibrant underground queer culture in Seoul Itaewon with drag shows and pride events. And this is a um, club I passed by in Itaewon, it's a transgender club. 
Um, homophobia in Korea. Korean Christians are the worst when it comes to this. Followed by the police. Uh, even though you are a foreigner, police will treat you okay, but police brutality is also a thing you need to look out for. Many queer Koreans cannot come out and will live a life of secrecy, so if one of your Korean flatmates does come out to you, uh, keep that in mind, because if you take a picture at an event with them or you post it on social media, they can get fired from their job. Um, some type of queer events in Korea include the queer culture festivals. The biggest ones are in um, Seoul, Busan, Daegu, and Jeju. They are once a year in July. Again, if you go and take pictures, do not post them online, or at least blur people's faces, because people will be outed and fired. Um, sexism in Korea um, is another type of discrimination. While the legal system in South Korea has changed to accommodate women in the workforce and political life, the social structure of Korea has even reverted in some cases. No matter how socially liberal Koreans, maybe Korean men, may be, they still exhibit some forms of sexism. And a question to you guys, what percent of Korean women do you think Korea, what percent of Korean women think Korea is a gender equal society? Take a guess. Ten percent? Two percent? Any other guesses? Correct just two percent. According to a survey by women's rights groups, from women's to their teens to their 70s, 93 percent said Korea is not a gender equal society. And you may experience this in the classroom with your professors. 2% said South Korea was a gender equal society, while 5% did not respond. Dating in Korea. Um, if you're willing to date, do it. All power to you, so please be careful. Um, some people may want you just because you're a foreigner. Uh, male and female dating violence is a real thing here. Uh, however, since you are a foreigner, Koreans will treat you better than normal. Uh, please be smart when dating in Korea. Nothing will ruin your study abroad more than your good heart. <laughs> Also, if you fall in love with a, with a Chinese student, I can Chinese translate. I have to do it a few times for people who are studying when you change courses. Um, there's a whole section on this. <coughs> Other types of prejudice you may face in Korea include halal and kosher foods. Uh, pork, uh, just today, I had to change out a sandwich because I have pork in it. Um, pork is a staple in Korean foods, and you might accidentally eat pork unknowingly quite a few times. Only in Seoul will you find halal or kosher foods. Um, it's starting to get better around campus in Sinchon. This is actually in PMC. Um, there's like one or two places that have these signs saying if you don't eat pork because your religion tell me. Also, there are very few Muslims in South Korea. If you are Muslim, there are no mosques. Um, at the last census, there are 150,000 practicing Muslims, mainly from Pakistan and Bangladesh. English patches, these kids aren't working. I have kids, but they're not working. Um, if you speak a non-North American type of English, you will receive some prejudice from Koreans. Korean people learn American English in school, so if you speak British, Australian, Indian, or Caribbean English, it may be hard for them to understand you. Uh, they may be interested in learning your type of English, mainly British English, um, and others may be turned off, but that's just not your fault. Disability in Korea. South Korea has no rights, literally next to no rights to disabled people. The actual school of global education um, does not have an elevator, despite being three floors. Um, and many buildings are not wheelchair accessible, and older buildings are next to impossible to enter. You guys have experienced Korean sidewalks. Try to do that in a wheelchair. You cannot. Mental illness. Um, if you do have a mental illness, it is not talked about in Korea. It's seen as something that you can get over. I have separation anxiety, so last semester I did not see a lot of my friends off when they went to the airport. Um, and my flatmates got angry at me. But I tried to explain that like that was causing me very severe stress. Um, and they were still angry that I didn't say goodbye to my friends. But your Korean thought makes me not, may not understand mental illness, and it's very frustrating. Religious cults. Um, this is interesting. Um, how to spot a religious cult in Korea? Are you in Cheonan Station, and is, is someone trying to hand you a newspaper? That's a cult. Don't accept it. Are you in Seoul? Did someone try to get you to experience traditional Korean culture? That's a cult. Hmm. Yeah, I did that. Aunt has been to a cult before. Um, <laughs> I was almost put into a cult yesterday in Seoul. Ladies, if an older Korean man is asking you if you're Russian, even if you are Russian, punch him and run away. Um, am I allowed to explain that? Yes. Okay, uh, it deals with prostitution after Korean War. So a lot of older Koreans believe if you're blue-eyed, blonde-haired woman, you're a Russian prostitute, because Russians came after the Korean War. Um, if a religious cult can seduce the last president of Korea, they will seduce you too. Um, some tiny microaggressions that 
um, people experience. Um, someone told me, wow, <coughs> you guys are awfully quiet today. That's from like your culture, right, Austin? Um, I've been asked, have you ever shot a gun? Followed by, have you ever shot anyone? I've been asked, do you have a swimming pool at your house? Um, I've been told by someone, why do you read feminism? Feminism is stupid and not needed in Korea. Koreans keep asking me about Donald Trump, and I've been asked what color hair dye I use. That comes from the Japanese students. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't dye my hair. Um, the more We've mentioned this before, but the more your flatmates and street mates open up to you, the wilder their questions about your home and your personality will get. Um, how do you eliminate prejudice? Um, exposure is the best way to eliminate prejudice. Um, but remember that you are never ever the victim. If you, if you are the victim, it's never ever really your fault. Um, remember that Korea does not have political <coughs> minorities. Um, there are a few foreign celebrities that are popular here, like there's an Australian comedian. Um, if, there are a handful of queer celebrities, but um, that's just like one or two. Um, you can use every moment as a teaching moment. Um, find your shared identities with others. There are queer groups, there are political groups out there that you can join. Um, take a step back and breathe. It's okay to leave a toxic situation. If it's your flat that's being toxic, go to the lounge. Um, if you still experience toxicity there, um, I would honestly talk to one of the returnees or talk to one of the office staffs. And then also, my last advice to everyone, learn Korean swear words. Because trust me, you'll need to know a few. And that's all I have. That's supposed to be jiggle, but it's not. <laughs>